Uh, that peach festival. Yeah, I mean that has to be cool with the weather right now. right? Oh yeah, it was a very warm, a very humid day today, feeling very much like summer for the unofficial end of summer through the Labor Day weekend. Right. But we do have a cool down on the way with some showers and thunderstorms as we work throughout the next couple of days. Exact track 40 radar clean sweep across southeastern Michigan, but those thunderstorms are not that far away. Just off to the north and west from Saginaw over toward Midland over toward Alma and just to the north of Greenville. We have had a few warnings, severe thunderstorm warnings off to the north this afternoon and some marine warnings working out into portions of the lake there. Other than that, we'll stay dry for the evening hours tonight before we do see those showers and thunderstorms roll in tomorrow. That sunshine's warmed us up very quickly. 87 right now here in Detroit, 84 in Hal, 86 right now working into Port Huron and 81 over in Adrian. Pretty much the entire story across all of southeastern Michigan, low to mid 80s heading into the evening hours tonight. But you see those yellows there. That's that cooler air that's going to come with that cold front moving in from tonight and into the weekend on Sunday. There's those showers and thunderstorms. Mount Pleasant working over towards Saginaw to the south of Cadillac as well as to the south of Ludington. Plenty of cloud cover going with it. That frontal boundary will be very slow to move into the region overnight tonight into early tomorrow morning and also combined with an area of low pressure over northeastern Arkansas lifting off to the north and east. So we're going to have a little more moisture to work with tonight and into tomorrow and and that will give us those scattered showers and a few thunderstorms as we head throughout our Sunday. We're dry overnight tonight and I think for the first part of tomorrow, but there's those showers and a few thunderstorms by five o'clock tomorrow evening. Not going to be a widespread event. Don't cancel the plans as we go throughout our Sunday. We'll keep the clouds into the forecast as we head into early on Monday morning, but with that low pressure system and cold front slow to depart, I'm going to hold on to cloud cover and some scattered showers as we go from Monday afternoon into Monday evening. High pressure starts to in late Monday night and early Tuesday morning, and I'm expecting sunshine and a little bit of cloud cover to stick around as we head throughout our Tuesday. Tonight, it's going to be a little more uncomfortable. We'll go increasing cloud cover. Skies mostly cloudy overnight tonight, dropping to 68 tonight with that southwest wind at about three to six miles an hour. For the rest of the Labor Day weekend, we're into the 70s, Sunday and Monday. Showers and a few thunderstorms tomorrow. Not looking for any severe weather tomorrow, but holding on to some of those showers as we head into our Monday. Once that frontal boundary pulls through here, things start to change by Tuesday. We'll keep that partly cloudy sky in on Tuesday. High temperatures rebounding into the low end of the 80s, and then high pressure sticks around for the rest of next week. Lots of sunshine is expected Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Temperatures warming up into the mid 80s by the time we get to Thursday and Friday with a little more cloud cover in and temperatures holding into the middle 80s as we head into the first half of next weekend. All in all, not a bad forecast. Just hold on to that umbrella as we go throughout the next couple days.